Hi, it's a bit of a big claim, but I have found this myself the best particular trick I've ever come across, and I hope you might find it useful too. So what's the problem? Well, once you've got particular set up, it starts emitting the particles. Then as you move, it starts leaving particles in its trail. But then when it starts to move really quickly, the particles thin out. And then when you start moving even more slowly, the particle trail gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And then once it's not moving anymore, it just keeps on emitting particles. So, what this trick is, is that it will make the particles only appear when you start to move, and it will make them consistent, so that as it's moving at a certain speed, that's fine, then as it moves quickly, the particle stream remains constant, and even if it's moving slowly, the particle remains constant, and then stops when the movement stops. So we're not ending up with this, but this. So how do we go about it? Once you've got your solid in place with particular, right click, select new, light, and this is very important, call it capital E, emitter, number one. OK. Go into your solid. And the effects controls for particular. Emitter. Emitter type. And select light. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to change all of these to zero. That's all the velocity, velocity distribution, etc. So we'll just get a stream of particles. You can set up your particles as you need them, of course. Go down to emitter 1, select it, and press P, which will bring up the position settings. Then toggle open your solid particular, effects, particular, emitter, and holding down ALT option, press the stopwatch, and it will automatically create an expression. Then select the pick whip, press and pick whip it to the emitter 1 position. The expression will have changed down here, and your cursor will be blinking at the end of it. Delete the bracket, the zero bracket, and replace it with dot speed, S-P-E-E-D. Click off the expression, and that's the whole trick. Select your emitter, press the stopwatch next to position, and start keyframing the path so that emitter 1 will now become the path that the particular emitter follows. So, etc. Here's one I've done earlier, selecting our solid and particular layer. You'll note that the emitter appears. If you find that annoying, then just turn off the eye icon, which turns off the emitter 1, but that path will remain. So nothing happens. Currently the particles per second are 583. When it starts going a little bit faster, they go up to 880. It goes back to 279 at that speed, and then this speed goes up to 3401, and then it turns itself off. If for some reason you want particles to be created at the beginning and the end, or during, or 
whatever you need to do. Then select your solid particular layer, Command Control D, and it will make a copy. In one version of it, go to your particles per second where the expression is, and you'll see there's an equal sign. Press on that, and the expression will be disabled. It'll be like normal. So what you'll have is you will have particles being emitted before it starts, and you can keyframe those on and off as much as you want. So in this case you might want to put the velocity up so that they're spreading out, which will end up with something like this. And I'll keep on spreading out when we stop. There's only one more thing. Just remember when you pick whip, delete the bracket zero bracket and add dot speed. If you want more particles, then you add dot speed times 2 or 1.5 or 3.7 or whatever you need. Fewer particles dot speed divided by 2 or any decimal point that you like. That's it. I hope you find this as useful as I've found it, and I'll see you next time.